Okay, um, welcome to what is going to be an ebullient tutorial. That's the word of the day, y'all. Ebullience. I actually don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, I just wanted to talk a little bit because I'm working with uh, somebody that's uh, in Texas, and his name is Aaron. And <clears throat> I was just saying, well, why don't you do some color on this clip and then just sim send me that color effect? And it got me thinking, well, you know, he doesn't know how to do that. That's okay, Aaron. Uh, but uh, probably a lot of people don't know how to do that as well. So I'm just going to quickly talk about using bins for your effects and sending those to people if you want to work that way. So basically, you can send whole sequences like this to, to others, and, and that's great if they all have the footage to look, link up. But all I really want is the color effect, and then I can use that for all these interviews uh, when they come up. As you can see, she's a little off color here. I don't know. I'm colorblind. Magenta? Is that what? Red? I don't really know. Okay, so let's pretend I'm Aaron, and I want to send me an effect. Essentially, you just open up your color correction uh, window. I really wish, wish Avid would change layout here, but um, let's just say, let's just do some color correction. Oh, that's looking great. Yeah. Um, let's get, add a little blue in there. I think it's just... Oh, this is really good, you guys. Yeah, okay. So to me, this looks excellent. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and share this. And what you can do, and you can do this inside your own projects just to keep, you know, color styles that you like. You just create a new bin, and you say color effects or whatever you want. I don't know if there's a limit. Uh, and then you simply push E. Well, for me, it's E, which brings up your effect editor. And you just drag your color correction right in there. And there it is, ready to share with the world. Uh, you can re even rename it to, um, you know, color of perfection. I think that's probably it. Uh, perfect color, whatever. And then you close that bin, um, and then you can send it off. You can also, let's just say I do a speed ramp. I'll show you here on this clip. See as it plays, it goes in. Well, I like that effect, right? And I want to save that one. I can just open up my effect editor on that as well. Open up this, drag, no, not frame flex. Um, oh boy, what's going on here? Let's double click this. Oh, shifty. No. I'm just... I don't know what's happening here. I think I accidentally changed something here, you guys. What used to be shifty is no longer shift E, unfortunately. <sighs> Whatever. Motion effect editor. I have to open that up. And then just drag your time warp on. That was, that was kind of a botched moment there in this tutorial. Shows how much I know. Uh, anyways, yeah, so then you have your effects in here, and you can just close that and then send this to your friends all over the world. And how you would do that to find this, Ben, you can right-click on it, and I think reveal file, okay? And it brings up your Ben, which is, you know, Avid Union College. And here it is, and you can just drag that over. All right, you get the point. That's the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions. Um, yeah, I don't... I, ibulent. Remember that. That's the word of the day.